All right, everyone. This is who I've been talking to you about. He'll be joining us in student council starting today. Ah, so he's the one. I'm Hidetoshi Odegiri. I supervise the disciplinary committee. I'm Chihiro Fushimi, the treasurer. I'm a first year, and, um, I'm still learning the ropes, so please be patient with me. You must be quite talented to be handpicked by the president herself. I look forward to working with you. Late. Introductions will be enough for today. What we want from you is to assist us as necessary. From now on, you have my permission to enter the student council room whenever you wish. Your time is your own after school, but try to remember the student council every now and then. We meet on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but we don't meet on days before tests. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for all your hard work today. Well then, please excuse me. Oh, can I borrow you for a moment? I'd like to hear your opinion on something. It's nothing serious, but some students think the school uniform should be abolished and they're gathering supporters. Yes, because it is nonsense. They think freedom is a life without rules. It's ridiculous, plain and simple. Without rules, the whole system will collapse. They're mistaking selfishness for freedom. Sorry, overreacted a bit there. I hate people with no common sense. I have very little desire to talk to them. And don't take that the wrong way. I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. Why don't you head on home? I'll lock up here when I'm finished. Get home safely. All right, Otagiri, I'm counting on you. For both our sakes. I understand. Oh! Hey, Otagiri, what was that about? What did he mean by, for both our sakes? He just wants to create a better school environment, so he simply asked a student fit for the job. Just like how the president asked him to join the student council to help out. What? You can't decide something like that without talking to the president first. Someone found a cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. And that teacher wants the disciplinary committee to look into whose it was. Someone has broken school rules. It's only natural that I'm involved in finding and holding the transgressor accountable. Look, you have two choices. Either help out and prove you can be trusted, or refuse and prove you can't. People like you and me have to deal with a lot of crap around here, don't we? Well then, I'll be excusing myself. Hey! Don't ignore me! You kiss ass! Student council members shouldn't be fighting like this, should they? I better go tell the president! Oh, 
I don't see Odagiri. Is he absent today? Um, no. I'm pretty sure he came to school today. Then where is he? Probably busy playing detective asshole. Ah, so this is what Fushimi was telling me about. I see. Well, his intentions are good, so you can't really blame him. But I understand how you feel. Oh, uh, you're all free to leave now. Good work today. You hear me? I want to see evidence, smart guy. I don't need evidence. I already know everything about you. Like how you were arrested for beating up that guy in the park who snitched on you, right? Well, he's still at it. This is the third time today. My boyfriend was so pissed after he was accused. This guy's really asking for it. Keeping quiet will only make things worse for you. If it's really not you, then give me some names. And don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You have my word as a member of the disciplinary committee. Better fuck off, asshole. Just let you get away with that. Oh, hey, what is it? Did you need something from me? <laughs> you bet I am. If we turn a blind eye here, there's no stopping this from happening again. And once it spirals out of control, there will be nothing we can do. We should nip this problem in the bud while we still can. I know what people think of me. Then again, those who fight for justice have always butted heads with others. History speaks for itself. So let my actions serve as a warning to other offenders. A sensible person like you should understand, right? I'm going to keep at it for now. You should head home before it gets dark. <sighs> How many times do I have to explain it? It's like I'm talking to a moron. Why would you even accuse me? The cigarette butt was in the boys' bathroom, right? Then can you prove it wasn't a girl who brought it and left it there? With that logic, this is never gonna end. I'm done with this. You're on your own. <sighs> Punch in Neanderthals. Try not to hold it against them. They think like children. They just can't help it. Sooner or later, they'll see the light. Then I'll earn their trust, and they'll learn to respect me. I don't mean to isolate myself. I'm just remaining detached. Someone always gets hurt in any relationship sooner or later. I, I suppose I've gone on long enough. I, I apologize. point in having a meeting today if no one else is here. Let's go. Sorry you went out of your way to stop by, but it was a quick meeting. Everyone left already. It's nice not having those hyenas around. There's something I want to take care of before I go home. It's that cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. I have to hurry and narrow down my suspects. So, as you can see, we can't exactly hold a meeting right now. You can leave if you want. I see. If you're not in a hurry, can you spare a few minutes? I'd like to share something. A 
man without position, honor, or education? What does he cling to as he struggles through life? Sincerity, a man once told me. Do you want to know what happened to that man? Well, a TV anchor woman was injured on the job while reporting on a story. The TV station executives deemed it an unfortunate accident. But when a magazine caught wind that they were hiding something, the execs threw the writer under the bus. They said it was the writer who covered up the truth. They turned him into a scapegoat. And now, that man is blacklisted from the TV industry. His life's calling. The same man who taught me the meaning of sincerity. In today's society, the weak are preyed upon by the strong. You can't survive on sincerity alone. As for me, I want to lead an organization that fosters strength. And to do that, order is essential if I want to keep those with power in check. Well, it seems like a good spot to call it a day. Shall we head out together? Regarding the incident from the other day, with the cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom, it seems the teachers want the student expelled as soon as we find out who it is. What? Well, mm. I guess we should it have expected that. It does hurt the school's reputation. I'll keep everyone posted on this. That's all for now. Expulsion, huh? So, what do you think about all of this? About the smoker's punishment, I mean. Yes, I think so too. Once I catch the culprit, I'll give him a good talking to. The goal here should be to prevent this from happening again. I'm not counting on it, but it'd be great if I could get people like him to change their ways. I don't sympathize with students who break the rules, but does kicking the bad kids out really make the school a better place? It's really not like me to whine about it. I guess I'm just confused because I feel so powerless. If I can go above and beyond this time and earn the teacher's trust, my ward will hold more weight around here. Just you watch. I'll work my way to the top. I still have some work left to do. I need to compile a list of suspects. You can head on out of here and take care. Today's meeting is canceled. Um, did Odagiri-san do something? A teacher came by earlier and called him to the faculty office. That teacher seemed really upset. Don't be so stubborn. All you have to do is write his name on the list. He was appointed to the student council by the president herself. He's a responsible person. That's why I didn't add him to the suspect list. You know there are witnesses who've seen him wandering the streets late at night, don't you? I thought you hated students who don't follow the rules. It's not that I doubt the witness reports. It's more that I trust him. So I'm not adding him to the list. Odagiri, I really thought you were smarter than this. You can go ahead and forget about our deal. If you'll excuse me then. So, you heard all that. I know, you don't have to convince me. That teacher suspects you of all people. How he ever got certified is a mystery to me. Don't worry, even if the whole school turns on me, I'll have your back. starting to rub off on me. See you later.
And that concludes the Disciplinary Committee's forecast report. Next up is the Treasurer's report. Yes. Hey, sorry, but I was hoping you had some time once this meeting's over. We can talk up on the roof. I'm sorry to drag you up here, but I wanted to tell you something. The cigarette butt incident is going to be dropped. It seems interrogating every student in the school raised a few concerns. I wanted to be student council president next year, and that teacher promised to endorse me if I agreed to help him. But I lost any hope of achieving that when I spoke up against him. Not to mention the student body isn't so fond of me. I rambled on about rules and fairness, but all I really proved was that I was desperate for power. Now I understand why the president asked you to join the student council. You aren't just feeding me sympathy or empty words. You genuinely mean what you say. The system only works if you have people's trust. And trust isn't something you can force on anyone. When that teacher doubted you, I felt backed into a corner by a fool who simply had more power than me. I felt like the truth was being distorted and that I might lose a friend as a consequence. If it wasn't for you, I would have become a tyrant. So, thank you. Don't you dare repeat what I just said to anyone. I realize it's out of my usual character. I'm sure everyone would just make fun of me. Just promise, okay? I'll see you later. Which is what I believe to be the proper way to wear one's uniform. Please keep these things in consideration. I'm not saying everyone should follow this to the letter, so we'll leave it to the discretion of the individual. Holy crap! Did that just come out of his mouth? I think this is the first time he's cared about anyone else's opinions. Well, at least he's trying. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. So, how did I do? What did everyone think? Thanks. Hearing that takes a huge weight off my shoulders. I may have painted a selfish, arrogant portrait of myself to everyone, so I'll have to win back their trust. Here, look at this. One of the guys fessed up about the cigarette butt in the boy's bathroom. It took a lot of persuasion, but he promised me he'll never smoke again. This lighter is proof of that. I earned his trust by showing compassion for others. Just like you taught me. That's why you should be the one to have it. Thanks. I've spent my whole life looking down on others. Such baseless bravado. But you taught me an important lesson. Something I'll carry with me forever. I don't think I'll ever be anything like you, though. told you about the TV station's writer, that man. He's my father. I see now that sincerity is important, and I'm proud of myself for understanding that. I also realized what an amazing man my father is. It's about time to go. Say, do you want to stop by somewhere before we head home? Now that I think about it, we've never hung out outside of school before. 